There we go. Hi, how you doing? This is Dr. Ryan L. I'm sitting here with Kathy. Mm -hmm. Kathy is a nutrition response testing patient, mm -hmm. and uh, we've been working for a few years now. Yes. And Kathy initially had come in with um, a desire to work on some weight loss mm -hmm. and had some trouble with losing weight because her digestive system always gave her a hard time. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what had happened with that? Yes, thank you. Sure. Um, when I initially had come in to see Dr. Ionello, I was very frustrated to the point of being reduced to tears when I first worked worked with um, Dr. Ionello. Um, I was frustrated, upset because of my inability to lose to lose weight, which I had during different stages of your life. Um, weight had come on to me to approximately 20, 25 pounds. I felt I was eating correctly, I was frustrated, and I was at my wit's end. My affiliation with Dr. Ionello, um, my boyfriend is a chiropractor, I have been getting uh, adjustments for 13 years on a regular basis and he knew Dr. Ionello both personally and professionally and recommended that I take it a step farther because of his expertise with nutritional response testing and that perhaps that could unlock whatever the blockages were within me that was, would be impeding my weight loss. Sure, now I remember when we did mm -hmm. our initial evaluation with you, mm -hmm. we found some, some immune challenges that were affecting her body's ability to allow her to heal, so it was blocking the healing process. Yes, yes. And when we opened up that problem to mm -hmm. a solution, all of a sudden her body started to change. Yes. Now what was also interesting is that I remember we, when we were going over diet in the beginning, Kathy had a great diet of a lot of organic foods, and she was very particular about shopping and where she went and yes. what she ate. And the funny thing was, if you looked at her diet, it didn't look like it was a bad diet. Mm -hmm. But in Kathy's case, she had a very high sensitivity to sugars. That is correct. And she loved fruit. Mm -hmm. right? So what we found is until we got her to transition off as much fruit as she was eating, mm -hmm. she got stuck. And when she transitioned off the fruit and put mm -hmm. more protein in, yes. I was always always like, Kathy, more protein. Yeah. I can't eat all that protein. <laughs> yes, you can, Kathy. You can yeah. do it. Yeah. And pushed her on the protein, protein, pull off on the sugar. And this is organic fruit. That is correct. Organic fruit. Mm -hmm. And yet it was just too much for her system. It would not break that pattern. Mm -hmm. And then after staying, and she stayed with it because it took a while. I mean, it yes, took it a did. good year Absolutely. of good hard work on her part and mine before we finally, I guess you'd say, we picked the lock to what mm -hmm. the problem was. Mm -hmm. And we kept coming back to diet. I said, Kathy, I, I fixed everything that's wrong with you nutritionally. You have to change your diet. Mm -hmm. I know. And she, and she was eating like this for 10, 15, 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. She had her favorite foods. And, mm -hmm. and I said, I promise you, if you're just willing to change this, yeah. it will get you where you want to go. And all of a sudden, she figured it out. And then mm -hmm. what happened? Well, it was absolutely, um, it was as if the, as you use the term, the key unlocked. And despite, as you said, using organic fruits, yeah. I realized that because of the high sugar content, I was able to have a select select amount of fruits with right. lower glycemic index. Right. And that enabled me with the addition of protein as in a hard boiled egg for breakfast yeah. um, and trying to up protein intake and I had a very very carefully delineated um, a listing of foods from you mm -hmm. that enabled me to make better choices and then over a course of time with um, with proper continued chiropractic adjustments with the good nutrition with the nutritional response testing um, and the diet alter, uh, alterations in the diet the weight did it, it all the time. Oh it my did gosh, come did come absolutely. Off. She came in one day and I didn't know who she was. <laughs> I didn't, I really, even Nadine, she didn't recognize that me. Like, She's yeah. like, Who's that girl? I said, That's Kat's. <laughs> and I said, Where'd she go? Because everything just. Wow, that's that's nice. great. Thank you. So so now so so the story continues. So she's humming along, doing great, and mm -hmm. she she'd pop in like I don't know once every month, six weeks, two right, months. Right. You know, as, as the patients get better, they don't need to be here so much. She mm -hmm. knew what she was doing. She was on the perfect program for her. She yep. was cruising along. And then she came in in June and she dropped this bomb on me. <laughs> and she said, I don't know what I did, but this mm -hmm. is my new problem. So she walked in and she says, I have this neuroma on my foot. So yes. let's tell them about that. All what right. happened with that? This had happened. Um, I had been in a high impact aerobics class. We were doing jumping jacks, running men. And I said, you know, just push it a little harder. Fateful words. Um, what I had eventually done later that night, I was, I'm telling, I was not able to walk. I had x-rays taken, nothing was broken. My next step was I did go to see a podiatrist um, who, of course, what they want to do when it's classified as a neuroma, the first uh, line of defense is shall we give you um, a shot 
Mm. to less on cortisone shot, which I didn't want anything intrusive. I did not want anything that was going to be of a chemical nature. And then as I researched Neroma on the internet, the traditional course of action is surgery. And that's what you're going to be reading about. Uh, knowing uh, how well I had worked with Dr. Ionello in the past, um, I decided that the smartest thing to do would be to come and look for a non-invasive, holistic approach to dealing with what would normally be going for surgery. So that brought me, uh, I still come on a regular basis, but this was kind of, we have this whole new challenge in front of us. So that's when I returned. And what, what I remember, I think yeah. that the, um, the doctor had said it would be, would it be six months? To get, if you went for the surgery, oh yes. How much? How long did they feel it would take you to oh, get better? Oh, good lord! I was Maybe told up to a year. Oh, it could take up to a year <clears throat> after the surge after the surgery for really good nerve function again. So, so she was very concerned because number one, her whole life would be turned upside down for mm -hmm. twelve months. Oh, number two, you know, she's a purist. She doesn't like to be cut. No drugs, no chemicals. You get that from listening to her. Yeah. She's very particular about what she puts in her body, which is which is terrific. Mm -hmm. So she says, do you think you can help? I said, the only way to know is to test. Let's mm -hmm. take a look. So we ran her through the course of examination. Mm -hmm. And when I got to that area of her foot that had the inflammation, that neuroma, just so you know, it's inflammation of the nerves, yeah. just so we know everybody understands what a neuroma is. The area gets inflamed, usually from impact over time. Mm -hmm. And the traditional medical approach is let's cut it open and remove whatever's aggravating the nerve and, and fix it up. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I said, I don't think that's necessarily the best approach, depending on what the problem is. So mm -hmm. as we did our examination, we found there were specific nutrients that were lacking. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I put them on her body and tested her for strength, her strength came right back. Mm -hmm. Now, fortunately, being a chiropractor and understanding physiotherapy, mm -hmm. I said, you know, I could take a multidisciplinary approach to this and I can handle it from a couple of different levels. So while I'm feeding you nutritionally, I'll also help you with the pain in your foot. Mm -hmm. That being a chiropractor, I was thinking alignment as well. I said, I've mm -hmm. got to make sure her hips are aligned so that it doesn't put pressure on her knees and her foot. And that's what I did. I started doing ultrasound therapy for the pain mm -hmm. so she wouldn't have to take too many drugs. She didn't take any drugs, actually. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the nutrition, we were using specific nutrition that was good for inflammation and for pain mm -hmm. and for, for reestablishing uh, strong tissue, ligaments, fibers, muscle. And then I would check her wearing my chiropractic hat to make sure that her hips were not in balance because she was in so much pain. She couldn't, she could barely walk. No, she, couldn't. she was having, she couldn't put shoes on for months. Mm -mm. She was going back and forth with sandals and mm -hmm. open toed shoes and she was afraid to walk on the beach. I mean, she was really debilitating. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But she was patient and she, she was persevering with me. She did mm -hmm. not quit. And we took it week by week. I did see her a little bit aggressively mm -hmm. in the beginning and she was in a lot of pain. But in a matter of, I'm going to say a month, mm -hmm. we took such an edge off that she actually had hope that she'd be okay. Mm -hmm. And we kept working. And I think it took us about two months mm -hmm. where we yeah, really, yeah. really took the edge off, mm -hmm. where you finally realized, okay, it was like by August. Right. You were thinking, okay, I may not have to do surgery for this. Right, right. And then by the time we got into our third month in September, um, she said, you know what? I'm not going to need surgery. Mm -hmm. I've got this. Mm -hmm. And we got her completely well. In fact, I was proud. We got it done so quickly. We got it done in about a quarter of the time. Right. So in three months, I think we got done just as much, if not more, mm -hmm. than what they were saying she'd get done in a year mm -hmm. after surgery and rehab, correct? Yes. And even... Um, an what you said is absolutely correct. The level of pain was intense. The, I was truly debilitated. I did not. I was not ambulatory. And even the podiatrist I had worked with was absolutely amazed and, and delighted that that level of progress had been made in that short of amount of, of time. And this is a good thing to note as well for any of our podiatric doctors or physical therapists mm -hmm. that, you know, we as professions, we should work together. Mm -hmm. And, and because there's so much that nutrition response testing can do for any kind of problem mm -hmm. when the patient gets what they need, because virtually you build new tissue out of nutrition. Mm -hmm. You build new cellular systems in the body with nutrition. And uh, it's not to say that one hat fits all because it doesn't. Mm -hmm. And she's a unique patient like anybody else. But she got such great results from what we did before that mm -hmm. she had a lot of belief and yes. understanding that it would work. And she was willing to do the work because Kathy comes in from how many miles away do you live? Oh, I'm about a good almost hour ride. Yeah, so, so she, probably you know, a good 45 yeah, miles. Yeah, she lives on the end of Long Island. <laughs> right. And I'm more mm -hmm. in the, I guess, the eastern part of Long right. Island. 
So, you know, watching her get better a little bit at a time and having the patience to persevere and even having uh, a significant other who's a chiropractor yes, that knows what course. he's doing as well. Absolutely and, and he was terrific because he said, just go there. Mm -hmm. You know, whenever she had a problem, she just... Just go back to Tom and ask him what to do because uh -huh. I know he'll take care of you. No, that was a real... And it was good of him to do that because he oh, did take course. care of you that way. So we want to give you know, kudos to him because he was no, no. smart enough to realize that there's always a different way to look at this. He was totally supportive and also um, knew of your expertise in this area and and um, knew of your professional integrity. Thanks. And, um, had great faith that you would be able to give me an additional piece beyond what certainly he gave me wonderful adjustments as well. Sure. But this was an adjunct, and it certainly rounded out that picture of that holistic Absolutely. approach. So uh, in a nutshell, mm -hmm. uh, Kathy's done fabulously here. She's a yeah. great patient. She's a great uh, friend. Back at the office. gym. <laughs> yes, she's back in her life. She's basically mm -hmm. back to full activity. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, if anything happens every once in a while with a little mishap or an mm -hmm. injury or what have you, we yeah. just handle it. We give her what she needs and her body does what it has to do, but she's yes. actually handled this completely, I guess we'd say holistically. Yes. And no surgery, and we're very proud of her, and I want to congratulate you well, on the job. Well, thank you. Well thank done. you for your hard my work pleasure. on my behalf. Thank it you. Makes me happy. Thank so you. So take it from Kathy. Anything can be handled <laughs> when you give her what you need and you're yes. patient. Good thank job, you. Kathy. We'll thank see you, you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.